Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to a new episode of EVE Echoes. Tonight on the show I'm going to demonstrate why it is a terrible idea to buy the new Graviton Scanner, whatever it's called. You know, the same crap that was with the previous event with the Fading Star Treasure Trove. Uh, now we have an improved version, it's marked as Graviton Mark II Scanner and you can find it in the coupon shop. It costs 50,000 coupons, or, as I think you've been seeing lately on the market, 1 billion ISK. It's a trap. Now why is this a terrible idea to buy it from either of these places? Well, let's do a proper demonstration. So I'm going to go into the store, I'm going to go into the Splendid Coupon, Classified 2, Gravitational, I'll buy one such gizmo. It's gonna cost us 50,000 coupons. I'm better off just storing the coupons and trying to get uh, one of those nanocores uh, at the end of the event. But nonetheless, let's buy this. Let's go here. We've got this. We're gonna claim it and let's go and activate it. Now, there has been no improvement done on how this mechanic works and it's literally the same crappy mechanic as a previous event it just uh, does a 10 minute interaction with the player and that's it you got the analyze signature address and we're gonna try to pinpoint the location definitely not here excellent 100% signal completed let's see what region and constellation we have so the unknown region well would you look at that it's the same one that we have It's the forge and the constellation uh, oh this looks familiar it's right here see this is done <laughs> so much for scanning content unlocked items has have been sent to the inventory back to inventory uh, now you get to activate this and it will create a bookmark It'll say, recommended ships frigate. Now you have the chance of spawning a gravitational rift. And if you do that, you will get inside some sort of Nihilus space. It will be full of elites. I've already showcased this in the previous event. The elites actually don't drop anything. And if it tells you you need a battleship to go in there, um, don't go in alone. Use battleships with multiple people, but don't go like five players because you'll get murdered. Use several battleships, use a couple of logistics ships, maybe even a guardian, go inside together and clear that out. But surprise, surprise, once you clear room one and you go deeper into the gravitational rift, um, you might have the unfortunate event of the game to crash for all of the party members for your entire fleet you and your friends included what this means is that everyone will be kicked out out of the Nihilus space and of course the rift will despawn so you'll end up back home once you log back into the game yes with absolutely no reward <laughs> figures um, so what happens if you don't get in Nihilus space well you get this either a destroy or frigate it's irrelevant it's an empty um, site uh, with a couple of cans. You don't need hacking, you don't need uh, a relic analyzer or data analyzer, you just need to activate the bookmark. Um, generate bookmark and now we have, where is it? We need to go to the uh, selected system. Autopilot engaged. And uh, we're going to travel there and I'm going to Undying. show you guys exactly the value in ISK of said loot. Now, initially, I did not believe my eyes because I've done this Warp test before, active. and, well, I think you're going to be surprised as well. The amount, uh, the total amount did not exceed 100 million. Let me see, maybe we're lucky this time, but it's kind of terrible. And considering the fact that you spend 50,000 coupons of those new whatever uh, currency, or 1 billion on the market. That's just horrible. Uh, the price that you pay versus the rewards reached. you get. So let's ho head over to that specific location. Active. I have some hacking and analyzing skills and, and modules on me, but it, it, they're going to be completely irrelevant. So what do you think? Is this an awesome thing? 
<laughs> Again, uh, no improvement whatsoever on the scanning mechanic of this uh, specific, of, of the previous event. It's just, it's marked as Mark II scanner, but it, it's identical in functionality and basically in the rewards. Because the rewards of that previous event uh, actually had some meaning. You did found some trinkets, you know, the trinkets for the Golden Age. So that kind of had some value on the market. Uh, let's head over to loot and let's start looting. We got the broken container. Let's loot this one. Okay, we've got this intact container. Let's loot this one as well. And then we're going to approach the broken container. Meanwhile, we're going to just uh, loot this. Oh, come on. Loot. No, no, loot. Come on. No, no, no. <laughs> okay, and I still need this one to loot. Approach and loot. Come on. And that's that. We've looted all the containers. Look at... <laughs> Look at the ISK value. Look at that ISK value. It's just... 74 million isk. Now, if you've made the mistake of buying it with 1 billion isk on the market uh, and you haven't opened it yet and haven't activated it yet, don't do it, mate. <laughs> don't do it. Stop yourself from doing it. Put it back on the market where it belongs. Um, I don't know. Try to get rid of it so you don't get a big delta loss. Like, you bought it for 1 billion. Try to put it for 900 million. I don't know exactly how it's going to sell because some people have already been undercutting that 1 billion price uh, basically because just, they just want to get rid of them faster. <laughs> and of course, don't spend 50,000 uh, coupons on it. Just keep your coupons until you manage to reach 200,000 or 150,000 and get yourself a nanocore or some skins or something that really, I don't know, brings value to you, not this crap. That's it for today. I hope you guys learned something. Thank you guys for watching and a very big shout out to my channel supporters and I'll see you guys next time. Cheers.